Hi guys and welcome to another Math Tip and Tricks video. In this video we will look closely at circles. Now typically there are two things learners are asked to determine about circles. Its circumference and its area. So if you're looking at how to calculate the circumference, check out my video by clicking here or check out the description of the video below. In this video we will talk about the area of a circle. And we will have some fun thinking of ways to remember its formula. We cannot do a calculation without a formula, right? Ok, let me continue by drawing a circle on this blank canvas. Here we go. Now let's draw a line from the center to a point on the circle like this. This, my friends, is the radius of the circle. Now what if I drew a straight line like this starting at one point on the circle, passing through the center, and going all the way to another point like so. Some of you may say that this is one radius here and this another one here and you would be right. But there is another term for such a line. It's called the diameter of the circle. Now pause the video and make sure you understand the difference between radius and the diameter. Let me write this down. The diameter is equal to the radius times 2. So then, what is the area of a circle? Let's first see it visually. This entire section within the boundary of a circle is called its area. And here is the formula for calculating the area of any circle. Area is equal to pi into r into r or pi r square. Now we understand the radius of a circle, but what is this pi you ask? Well, pi is a mathematical constant. It is represented by this Greek symbol. And its approximate value is 3.141592. Gosh, how do you expect me to remember this number you ask? Well, let's get some help. Ok, tell me which is easier to remember. This number or this sentence. Let me pause a bit while you think. I find the sentence easier to remember and I'm sure so do you. Now let's see the number of alphabets in each word of the sentence. That's the same as the number pi. So take your pick here guys and choose what works for you. If you choose the sentence, don't forget the decimal point else things will be messy. Now let's put this formula into use. And here is our first problem. A circle has a radius of 10 centimeters. What is its area? Ok, time for our shiny formula. Let's replace these symbols with their actual values. So we get and this gives us 314.1592 centimeters square which is our area. So let's look at one more question. A circle has a diameter of 10 centimeters. What is its area? Now don't panic just because our formula does not use the diameter. We know the diameter is twice the radius. So the radius is half the diameter, right? So a circle having a diameter of 10 centimeters has a radius of 5 centimeters. And now let's plug these values into our formula. And that gives us, and here is our answer. Now won't it be nice to find a way of remembering the area formula? Well, let's just create one. I'm going to use images that are funny and I believe I can remember. So I'm going to associate the A here with an apple. Pi is pretty straightforward, right? And what about this R by R or R into R? Well, I love rock and roll, so I'm going to associate an image for this term here. So I have apple pie rock and roll. Now this may sound silly, but hey, silly works, especially in such cases. Now take a minute and think of some wacky mnemonics that'll help you remember this formula. All the best.